guys, it's gonna be Fozzie's first day out of the barn. First day, and <laughs> it's gonna be fun. He's gonna love it here on the farm. I'm so excited for him to, have, to start his great life here at the Hidden Spring Farm. He's gonna meet Molly for the first time. He's gonna meet Stormy Barncat for the first time. Holy shnikes, he's gonna have a blast. Let's go. You know who's behind this door, guys? Fuzzy Bear, the new barn cat. And today I'm gonna let him out and see how he responds to being outside of his room. He's been in this room since August 14th. So it's going on almost a couple months now that he's been in this room. So hopefully that's long enough for him to be barn trained. But before I release him, I'm just gonna have him inside the barn here. I'm gonna close the door and see how he responds you know, because he's never even been out here in the barn. So we'll see. Fuzzy! Fuzzy! Guys, the two cats, they're a little bit hissy like 
you know. Stormy, she's right here. She's kind of showing off, doing flips in the ground. And then Fozzie, he's right here. He's just kind of chilling out. He likes coming up to my legs and rubbing up in between my legs, eh? Fozzie's right here, guys. And Stormy, she's way up there. They're both going their separate ways. Not sure if I'm gonna lock him back up in the barn again or if I'm gonna release him today because I'm gonna use some judgment to see how he's behaving, how he's responding to his surroundings because he's never been outside, you know, like around here on the farm. He's been only inside the barn. You see these little quacksters guys, they came out a little bit and then they go back in because they're scared of something and then they come out to see if everything's okay and then they go right back in again. Now Molly's guarding the door, they'll never come out. <laughs> these guys are so sketchy. <laughs> Hello ducks. <laughs> we'll see how Fozzie behaves with these ducks making all the rah, 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 rah. So far so good with Fozzie guys. He's right there, Stormy's sniffing his butt a little and uh, we'll see, there's a little bit of hissing going on but uh, my Darden and I gotta take care of these chickens quick and get them some food and collect the eggs and all that. And we're just gonna let the two of them hang out out here and get acquainted. Fozzie's doing okay guys, he's down there. He's just getting used to the area around the barn here. He's been out and about a little bit walking around, but I can see that he's a little scared. So we're just trying to leave him alone and just let him outside here and probably later on when we're ready to pack up for the night, we're gonna close him up in the barn again rather than leaving him loose. I don't think he's ready to be loose on the farm yet. He still needs to get accustomed to the surrounding outside area of the farm. He seems to like sunbathing though. My Darden and I are just gonna hit the veggie garden and see what else we can harvest. We're gonna leave Fozzie Bear alone over there by the barn. He's just sitting there. 
He's not hurting anybody. He's not hurting anything, but he's a little scared. There's still some straggler vegetables that we can harvest. My darling, she's getting some green beans still. She got some Asian long beans and uh, we still got like a, uh, some kind of a squash growing and uh, I think we still got some tomatoes growing. We still got a little bit, so it's not over till it's over. Look at the size of this thing guys. It's like a white carrot. It smells so good too. It smells so earthy. Look at the size of the head on it though. It's huge. Remember those Paul Bunyan cartoons with Bugs Bunny? That's what I remember. Those huge carrots. <laughs> this is a nice carrot. Sadly it's our one and only orange carrot. We have two other ones that are white carrots <laughs> and this is our one and only surviving orange carrot. <laughs> Oh man, we need more practice. Stormy, where are ya? I see ya. Mommy. I see ya. We're done, let's go. We're done, we're done. We picked everything that we need to pick. <laughs> let's go. I know. Did you catch anything? Uh, did you catch anything in the Artemisia? She was hanging over in the Artemisia there, guys. And uh, I, I'm sure she was hunting for something because there's a whole bunch of birds eating the little seeds off the Artemisia and there's chipmunks all around over there. <laughs> She's a little stinker. Oh, she's giving me her butt. She's giving me her butt again. Oh, look who showed up. It's a good sign guys. The big guy, Fozzie Bear, is only hanging around the barn. The one thing I haven't done yet today is check in on Elvis Presley, his girls, and the other chickens in there. So I just gotta make sure that they all have food and water. They didn't run out. And then we'll check in on Fozzie again. Make sure that he's still around. <laughs> How you doing Elvis? You okay buddy? You still got food? Yeah. You doing a little dance? Ah. Your girl's not giving eggs? What's going on? You guys are almost out of food. You guys are almost out of food. Fozzie Bear came out and he's inside the sunflower patch. I want to make sure he doesn't wander away too far though. I can't see him. Yeah, where is he? Man, he's a big fat cat. Like, how could I not find him? He's got to be in there somewhere. I just can't see him. Stormy just walked right over me. Like, 
I was nothing. I can see a lot of the birds are stealing my sunflowers. <laughs> I found him, guys. He was hiding, believe it or not, hiding inside all of the grasses and stuff that are in <laughs> the sunflower area. And I walked from that side and then he, he freaked out. He ran away from me and he ran this way and back into the barn. So hopefully that means he's barn trained. The only trouble is he's not really farm trained. I got him back in his room and what I'm gonna do on a daily now is give him some time out in the farm area out here and uh, you know, cross my fingers that he doesn't wander away because he is an older cat, guys. He's not a kitten, you know, but uh, I think once he gets familiar with the surroundings out here, then he'll be fine and we'll be able to release him upon the farm. I think it was a good day though. I think that's enough excitement for him for one day too. He's got a little bit of a weight problem, so it's good for him to get out and move around, you know, all fun at the farm. <laughs> I was just watching the little ducks. Anyway, stay tuned for future episodes with more barn cat adventures here at the farm. We need to get Fozzie Bear released upon the farm. He's a good looking cat though, eh guys? He's a nice looking fellow, I must say, he's handsome. Appreciate you watching, guys. You guys take care, okay? Oh, and don't forget to click that subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to pound that like for me, please, if you like the video, if you like Fozzie Bear, if you think you like what Fozzie Bear might bring to the farm, pound that like for me. And I really appreciate you watching. You guys take care, okay?